With a world of colour out there, it can be really tricky to find the right shade of anything online. So I wanted to take you through our lipsticks. So whether it's a nude, a bright, a red or a pink, you can easily find the right shade. Let's start with nudes. We've got a great spectrum of nudes depending on the undertone that you like and how nude you like the colour to read on your skin. But starting with the true nudes, we have the Mattastic Lipstick in Sophia and our Divine Goddess Lipstick in Demeter. So Sophia has more of a pinkish undertone, whereas Demeter is more that kind of caramelly brownish nude. They both read beautifully on a lot of different skin tones. However, if you're on the fairer, pale end of the spectrum with a little bit of a cooler pink undertone in your skin, Sophia is the perfect nude for you. And then as the skin tone starts to get warmer, you're a little bit more tanned. That caramelly undertone in something like Demeter really, really complements the skin beautifully. Moving on to the pinker side of nude, we have these three Divine Goddess shades. You have Hess, which again is your pinkish nude. So it's great for a, a cooler or more kind of neutral undertone and fair skin, but it does have a really subtle sparkle through it. So it really helps to brighten the complexion. Then you have SMP, which is again a pinkish nude, but it does have a little bit more orange in it. So it reads a little more peachy in the skin. And again, it throws a little bit of luminosity. And then we have Electra, which is probably the pinkiest of the nudes. It's great across different skin tones. So from fair and light across to medium and tan, um, but it really does help to emulate that kind of natural pink in the lip and just really bring it to life a little more. Then moving into more of your rose shades. So these are colors that are gonna add a little bit more life to your both your lips and the complexion. First up in Mattastic, we have Grace, which is a really universal shade and suits so many different skin tones. So this is another one that's really gonna help to emulate that natural pink in your lip, but just deepen it slightly and add more life to the face. Then you have Olympia in Divine Goddess, which is a deeper rose. So this is where you're starting to add more color to the lip and brighten the lip a little, but it's that kind of true rose undertone. So next in the Divine Goddess, we have Hera, which is a rose with a bit more of a blue undertone. And this one does have a really subtle shimmer through it. So it can really help to, again, smooth and add life to the lips. And lastly in the rose, we have Andromeda, which is more on the peachy side of rose. So this does have a bit more orange and brown in it. Uh, but it's a rose that's going to add colour to your lips and it's actually really great for kind of a medium to tan and olive skin tone. So now looking at a couple of colours that have a more brownish peachy undertone. We have Mattastic Lipstick in Ava, which is a kind of a beautiful true peach. So on a fairer skin tone, this is going to read like a peach and actually add colour to the lips. However, on more of a tanned and darker skin tone, this is a beautiful peachy nude. The next we have the Mattastic Lipstick in Lauren which is a beautiful kind of medium brown. So there's not a lot of pink in this one. It does have a little slight rosy undertone, but it reads more brown on the skin. So this can be a great neutral or nude for medium to deeper skin tones. And then we have the Mattastic Rita, which is a gorgeous terracotta -y kind of brick red. It's not particularly bright. It's still in a bit of a medium depth of color, uh, but it throws those kind of terracotta -y brick undertones on most skin tones. So our true red in the line is the Divine Goddess Lipstick in Aphrodite. This is a beautifully bright, saturated and vivid red that has a blue undertone and will suit all skin tones. Then we have the Mattastic Lipstick in Veronica, which is another bright, saturated and vivid red. However, it throws a little bit more of a pink undertone as opposed to a blue. Then we have the Mattastic Lipstick in Marlena. Now Marlena looks quite dark just in the bullet. It looks more like a burgundy here in the bullet, but when it's applied to the lips, it's just a beautiful shade of deep red that has a little bit of a both pink and blue undertone. And lastly, we have the Divine Goddess Lipstick in Xenia. Xenia is a pinkish red. On fairer skin tones, it will look more like a pink based red. However, on deeper skin tones, it's actually going to look more like a reddish pink and throw more pink against a deeper skin tone. So next we have our brights. And one shade that we are particularly well known for is our Divine Goddess Lipstick in Hara. This is a beautiful bright orange, but being an orange, it doesn't throw too much yellow on the skin. So it's not going to yellow your teeth and it means that it suits so many different skin tones. And then we have the Divine Goddess Lipstick in Venus, which is our beautiful bright purple. This one differs a bit across different skin tones. So on a fairer skin tone like myself, it will actually read like a darker purple almost true to how it looks in the bullet. 
but then on kind of tanned, medium and deeper skin tones, it will read a little bit more vivid and brighter. Then we have the Divine Goddess Lipstick in Lynx, which is our beautiful vivid lilac. It reads pretty true as you see it in the bullet across most different skin tones.